with Coach Brandon Clifford, High Point Christian Academy Cougars. A good win today. I don't know if it was a big win, but it was a good win. It's much better to get a game in like this as opposed to a practice session maybe yep. during a holiday off day from school. Talk about the job your team did tonight against uh, Page and uh, able to come away with a victory. Tell us how it happened. Well, first credit to Page. I mean, they came out ready to play. Um, we were a much older, much bigger team, but they came out and fought. And, uh, you know, that's a credit to James and his staff. They're doing a great job. Uh, they got a great core group of guys. They're able to keep those kids together. They're going to compete for some banners. And as an alumni, I love nothing more than to see that. But, uh, you know, we were able to win tonight because we got the game going at our pace. We were able to force some turnovers. We were able to, you know, take advantage of our size on some putbacks. Um, you know, and we guarded well. And uh, you know, that's been a consistent for us all year. Um, you know, offense hasn't always clicked, but we have guarded well. And, and we used our links some and turned them over. And then we were able to make some shots to kind of get away from them. But it was a good ball game. I mean, it's something that's certainly going to make us better, and hopefully it makes them better too. And you've said in the past the team seems to play the best when you turn them loose and let them play. Play. Was yeah. that uh, the case today? Yeah, it was. I mean, we're, right now we're just playing a little bit uptight, start games. And, you know, our guys want to do well. You know, they're working hard every day. Our practices have been great. Our competitiveness is great. Um, right now we just have some guys putting a little bit too much pressure on themselves, worried about how they perform rather than just playing the game. And, you know, that's not something you want to deal with um, with a senior-laden team like we have. But at the same time, it's the middle of January and we have plenty of time to correct it. Uh, we just got to start games better. You know, it happened to us against Westland. Um, we just got to come out of the gates a little quicker, um, getting a little bit of offensive flow earlier, and I think that's going to help us. I mean, because we're defending great. We just got to put the ball in the bucket a little bit more consistently. Do you look to get the ball inside more as time goes on with uh, Michael Cabani now being joined with Chuck Arbato, getting yeah. Chuck back, get those two guys together down in the post and try to pound it inside of them some more? Yeah, certainly you have to. You know, they were they were playing zone against us tonight, and, you know, they're kind of stacking in off, you know, stacking in off of our wings, um, which is a smart thing to do. Um, you know, we've been getting inside a little bit better than we did today. Um, you know, we, we tried to loosen up some today. We didn't run a whole lot of action and stuff. We just wanted to play and try to loosen our guys up some. And uh, we didn't get it inside nearly enough as much as we want. Um, but that's something certainly we'll be doing in the future. Kind of a fun thing as a coach to have just a chance to go back and play against the team you coached with and also played yeah. for. Yeah, I, you know, I, I said from forever I would never play Paige. I mean, it's, it's the first day of my life I've ever pulled against them. Um, you know, obviously with Coach Kent not being there anymore makes it a little bit easier. But, uh, I mean, I'm certainly proud of those guys. I, you know, I really like their team. Um, James has them playing really hard. He's doing a great job with them. And, you know, I look forward to seeing them develop as a group. I mean, they have some talent. they got young talent. So, uh, you know, it's two different worlds, public and private. We don't compete against each other. You know, so for us to come out here and play, it's, it's neat for us to be able to play in the Coliseum and neat for us to be able to play Paige. But I think, I think it would be echoed from both sides. I mean, you just want to come in here and get better and learn something about yourself and use it to get better moving forward in the state playoffs. And down the road the way home, back to High Point, the road signs are going to say somewhere along the way, GDS, Greensboro Day coming up next game, I guess on Friday. Yeah. How do you get the guys uh, relaxed and loose and uh, feeling good about themselves going into that game? Because you don't want the pressure to be there because these big yeah. games, you're playing like the ACC schedule now, your yeah. stage of the season, the GDS games against Greensboro Day, Day School and against West and all those big games are coming up now. Yeah, well, I mean, Fortunately, we've been through it before. Um, you know, the environment's going to be great. It's going to be packed, and, you know, it's, it's going to be probably a lot of talking about it beforehand. But as coaches, you just try to prepare your team to play. And uh, we got, you know, three, four days to do that, and we'll just go out and see where we're at as a team. Um, you know, I like it the direction we're headed because we've, we've come nowhere near playing our best basketball. Uh, we've yet to play a game with our full roster. You know, we have Stevie Williams out now with a knee. So hopefully get him back here in the next couple weeks. We're getting Chuck more and more involved. This was his first start tonight. Um, get him playing with Mike. You know, we'll be a different basketball team a week from now. So, uh, you know, we're just going to keep plugging away. You know, uh, Greensboro Day is really good. They're talented. They're old and they're experienced. They're very disciplined. And they play extremely hard. So that's, you know, that's something for us to match. Um, their, their recognition and their record certainly deserved. And we'll just try to come out and get a win on Friday, see what happens. A little different than uh, last year. Last year, you had the team that was unbeaten. You were carrying yeah. the unbeaten stretch of that game. Yeah. You knocked them off twice last year.
last year, this year, they bring the unbeaten uh, slate over to your place. Yeah, well, for us, we had to schedule better. Um, you know, 23 and 0 is great, but you know, last year we weren't tested at the level we needed to be tested at. So this year we really reached out. We played Oak Hill to open up the season. You know, we've we played some great competition. So uh, I'm okay with not being you know 23, 24 and 0 going into this one. Um, you know, I just hope that those games have prepared us for Friday night. Um, you know, Greensboro Day showed that they're certainly capable. You know, and their big win on Saturday night. So. Uh, you know, that, that's something I know our kids took notice of, you know, because a lot of people were kind of counting Greensboro Day out. But, you know, Coach Johnson's always going to be good, especially in, against good teams. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a battle just like they were last year. Um, you know, we're looking forward to it. You know, the door has been open for us to kind of get back in the mix. And so uh, hopefully we'll take advantage of it. And you've got to take advantage of some scouting opportunities. They're playing right now, Greensboro Day in action. Let's let you go check them out. Coach, thanks for talking to Thank us. You. Keep up the good work and the good representation of High Point Christian. Appreciate the coverage. Thanks,